Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about rotational kinetic energy. Uh, we previously discussed about generally your rotational kinetic energy but in some cases we will discuss about rotational kinetic energy for disc and rotational kinetic energy for hoop. And in this case you see that this has a disc has a shape of uh, extensive radius but in this case hoop as a radius is very small so we will briefly discuss and differentiate between rotational kinetic energy of disc and hoop separately we know the formula of rotational kinetic energy generally but rotational kinetic energy directly depends upon the moment of inertia kinetic energy rotational of the body is equal to 1 by 2 i omega square I is a moment of inertia and omega is a angular velocity. It means that rotational kinetic energy depends upon moment of inertia of the body and rotational kinetic energy also depends upon angular velocity of the body. So moment of inertia for disc is moment of inertia for disc is equal to 1 by 2 m r square. So we will put this I value in this expression in order to find out the value of rotational kinetic energy for disk. So the value of rotational kinetic energy for disk is equal to rotational for disk is equal to 1 by 2 the value of I is equal to 1 by 2 m r square into omega square. So finally the final term of the rotational kinetic energy specifically for disk is equal to will comes to form kinetic energy rotational for disk is equal to 1 by 4 m r square and omega square omega square so body is moving in a circular path so it all it is dependent on angular velocity or it is showing the angular velocity and our radius of the circle because body has a some radius so we previously we have discussed about some relation of angular velocity so and linear velocity v is equal to r omega so if we take square of this term because we have r square and omega square we can show in the form of uh, translational velocity so v square is equal to r square and omega square this r square omega square can be replaced by v square in this expression so rotational kinetic energy for disk and this final expression for rotational kinetic energy for disk is equal to is equal to 1 by 4 m r square and omega square is replaced by v square so it will be 1 by 4 m v square this is a formula of rotational kinetic energy for disk now we will find out the value of rotational kinetic energy for hoop it will be rotational kinetic energy for hoop is equal to 1 by 2 i into omega square so I moment of inertia for hoop is equal to m r square specifically for hoop. But for every other material like uh, disc or cylinder or any other shape, the moment of inertia is changed by every uh, every particle. So kin kinetic energy, rotational kinetic energy of hoop is equal to one by two, and I is replaced by m r square m into r square into omega square so we if we get or join together these two terms then final term will be kinetic energy rotational of the body or hoop is equal to 1 by 2 m r square and omega square we previously have discussed that r square and omega square it can be replaced by translational velocity so it will be Rotational kinetic energy of hoop will become one by two 
m r square and omega square can be replaced by v square from, from the expression v is equal to r omega and v square is equal to r square and omega square this r square and omega square is replaced by v square and this is v square 1 by 2 m v square this is a final term for the rotational kinetic energy for hoop now we will discuss the difference between their velocities of hoop and disc because we know that when body is moving or rotating from some height so it has some velocity so the change in velocity can be measured by relation some relationship of the rotational kinetic energy from this expression we see or we need to find out the rotational kinetic energy for rho and disk so if we, we can consider that this is a uh, some inclined so from this height we, we will need to slide or rotate the body uh, to two different bodies one is known as disc and other is known as hoop one this is known as disc and this is hoop so if th these two bodies are released at the same point or at the same time so we can find out their velocity what will be the velocity of disc at that point and what will be the velocity of hoop at that point first of all we need to understand that before we go we need to understand that when body is released it has rotational motion as well as translational motion in addition when body has rotational motion and translational motion their, their kinetic energies will be rotational kinetic energy as well as translational kinetic energy these two kinetic energy will be involved in, this, in their motion in addition when body is, has, is present at some height so it has some potential energy so we know the formula of uh, energy work energy principle which is the loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy so this formula can be used in this in here in order to find out the velocity of hoop and disc and we can find out that which bo which body uh, from this either hoop or disc can come earlier as compared to other or we will conclude and we will find a velocity and we will also find out that how much time the other velocity is greater or less from the first one so in the sum in the case we will consider the first case for disc for in for the case disc for disc we will find out that the loss in potential energy potential energy loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy we have two types of kinetic energy kinetic energy rotational as well as kinetic energy translational kinetic energy rotational and kinetic energy translational so for in, a, in the case of disk we can find that the potential energy is equal to mgh because body is present and some height so kinetic energy rotational for disc is equal to 1 by 4 m v square plus kinetic energy translation we know the formula 1 by 2 m v square so from this expression we see that m v square and m v square is common we can take common from this expression m v square is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 and m g and h so we can solve this bracket term and find out the final expression from this the final expression for the uh, velocity of the disk can be find out from this expression so mgh becomes mgh and mv square into if we take lcm 4 2 plus 1 and the final term from this expression will be m g and h is equal to m v square into 3 by 4 so we, we know that from the basic mathematics this m and this m can be cancelled out from both sides 
we can cancel this and the final expression will be gh is equal to v squared into 3 by 4 so our purpose is to find the value of v how much velocity of the disc when body is at the bottom of the inclined shape so if we can replace the 3 by 4 factor in the other side the final will be 4 by 3 g and h because this when we, when it go to the other side it will reverse is equal to v and square so we can take the square root on both side 4 by 3 g h square root is equal to v square square root and this v this square will be cancelled out by square root the value of v is equal to 4 by 3 into g h this is the velocity of the disc at the uh, bottom point similarly we can find the value of velocity of the hoop at the bottom point so the formula will be same loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy we have two types of kinetic energy one is kinetic energy rotational plus kinetic energy translational so the potential energy has formula of mgh because body is present at some height and it is uh, give value of gravity or gravitational effect also act on that body body may have some mass also so the mgh is a formula of potential energy and rotational kinetic energy for o is equal to 1 by 2 m v square and translation kinetic energy has a very famous formula half m v square if we add these two terms it will be m v square and this will be m g and h so you can see that this m can be cancelled out by this term m this term so g h is equal to v square we can take square root on both sides in order to in order to finish or get rid of this square so g h square is equal to v square square root this square root will be cancelled out by square so value of v for O is equal to g and h square root so you know that in the previous term for the velocity of this so from the previous formula of value of velocity of disc is equal to 4 by 3 square root g h so if we separate these two term it can be v velocity of disc is equal to 4 by 3 square root into g h square root from this expression you can say that this is the velocity of hoop so we can replace this term g h square root by velocity of hoop in this here so velocity of disc is equal to 4 by 3 square root into velocity of hoop in this expression we can conclude that the disc may have higher velocity as compared to hoop or it can come earlier on the bottom of the inclined by, by how much fraction it will be velocity of disc is equal to 1.15 times higher than velocity of hoop this is the final expression and this expression is not given in the books we, we can prove this expression from these formulas and we can conclude or we can solve some problem in the entry test and board exam because this is very important and the examiner can give or can put this uh, question in, the, in your exam in order to confuse you so don't confuse and be confident to solve this expression because it is very important and it is very necessary to learn for every student in order to calculate the velocity and how much time the velocity of disc is greater than velocity of hoop it means that finally here is a hoop or here is a disc when, when both release at the same time the disc will be present here and hoop will be present here so this is a basic difference of this expression up, up till now we have finished about the 
relationship of velocity of disk and velocity of o u in addition we also discussed about rotational kinetic energy for disk and rotational kinetic energy for hoop separately if you like my video you can subscribe my channel for more videos because i have already put all the videos in this description and i put all the links in the description if you want to contact me you can learn more i have given my email address you can contact me on that email address see you soon bye bye